Hey everyone, and welcome to Dragon EV Reviews. Today, we're diving into a story that's reshaping the automotive industry and our planet. China's meteoric rise to become the world's top electric vehicle exporter. We'll explore how they did it, what it means for the rest of the world, and what the future might hold. In just over a decade, China has gone from a minor player in the car industry to the world's largest exporter of electric vehicles. Once mocked for cheap copies of Western cars, China now dominates the EV market with brands like BYD, NIO, Xpeng, and Geely, challenging giants like Tesla and Volkswagen. But how did this transformation happen so fast? And what does China's electric car revolution mean for the rest of the world? Let's find out. China's journey began not with innovation, but necessity. In the early 2000s, choking air pollution, oil dependence, and rapid urbanization pushed the government to rethink transportation. Beijing saw electric vehicles not just as cleaner alternatives, but as a strategic industry to leapfrog the West. By 2009, the government launched massive EV subsidies, covering everything from consumer incentives to battery research. Companies were encouraged to innovate, and even small startups could compete if they built electric vehicles. It was less about saving the planet, and more about securing technological dominance. Unlike most countries, China didn't leave its EV market to chance. The state directed funding, set ambitious targets, and built one of the world's largest charging networks, now over 8 million chargers strong. It also pushed local governments to purchase electric vehicles for public fleets, ensuring demand even when private consumers were hesitant. Meanwhile, battery giants like CATL and BYD emerged producing cheaper, longer-lasting batteries at an enormous scale. This combination of top-down policy and bottom-up innovation created the perfect storm for dominance. Today, names like BYD, NIO, and Xpeng are rewriting the global automotive story. BYD, once a battery maker, is now the world's largest EV producer, surpassing Tesla in total electric and plug-in hybrid sales, NIO introduced battery swapping stations that can replace a drained battery in under five minutes. Xpeng is investing heavily in autonomous driving and smart cockpit technology. And unlike the early days, these cars are no longer cheap knockoffs. They're sleek, advanced, and affordable, offering real competition to established brands in Europe and beyond. In 2023, China overtook Japan to become the world's largest car exporter, thanks mainly to electric vehicles. Chinese EVs are flooding markets in Europe, Southeast Asia, Latin America, and the Middle East countries like Thailand and Indonesia are now production hubs for Chinese automakers, while BYD plans to build factories in Hungary and Brazil. What's more, as Western automakers struggle with cost and supply chains, Chinese brands are offering affordable EVs with long ranges, perfectly timed for global demand. But China's rapid rise hasn't come without backlash. The European Union launched an investigation into Chinese EV subsidies, fearing unfair competition. The United States imposed heavy tariffs to keep Chinese-made EVs out of its market. Western automakers are now racing to catch up on costs and battery tech, while governments discuss how to protect local industries without stifling green progress. Still, Chinese EVs are increasingly hard to ignore, efficient, tech-driven, and global. China's EV dominance reshapes more than just the car market. It's influencing global energy policies, supply chains, and even geopolitics. Control over lithium refining, battery production, and EV software gives China leverage in the next industrial revolution, the green one. While Western nations debate policy, China is already exporting not just cars, but an entire ecosystem, from charging infrastructure to smart city tech. China's rise as the top EV exporter isn't just an economic story, it's a turning point in global industry. The race for the electric future is on. And this time, the world is following China's lead. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more deep dives into the future of technology and mobility.